Well, good morning, everyone. Um, Anaya and I are really thrilled to be here with you this morning to talk about the importance of supporting teens and young adults as they get that first job, whether that be an internship, summer employment, or that um, much sought after full-time opportunity. And studies show us that young people who have a meaningful job at a young age really move up the career ladder and um, earn much higher wages. So this is a really a critical inflection point to get young people engaged. But we know that finding that first job is not at all easy. Um, there are fewer jobs for unskilled workers and young people really need to, to, to gain some advanced skills before they can um, really join the workplace. So young people are really facing an uphill battle. And I'm ex especially excited to introduce Anaya Carte um, to you today. She is a graduate of Urban Alliance, um, which has been a wonderful partner of the banks. And she was an intern at our banking center in Baltimore um, during 2012 and 2013. And for 10 months, um, Anaya worked alongside our, ba our banking um, um, employees as a convenience ambassador. And what that means is she used her tech-savvy knowledge and skills and really addressed the business imperative. She helped people who were coming into the um, um, banking center who, who were not familiar with online banking tools and ATMs and really made um, that connection for them. So it really addressed something that we were, we were needing to for the bank and it really allowed her skills to shine through. Right now, Anaya is a sophomore at Howard University. She's a biology major. You know, she just recently changed from psychology. But we're going to have a quick dialogue that hopefully captures Anaya's personal reflections on what that um, job and um, training at Urban Alliance meant to her in her future. So I'll pass it over to you to begin that quick dialogue. Thank you for that great introduction. Uh, my first question will be, how does Bank of America invest in young adults, and why do you believe it's important? Well, we think investing in young adults is critically important. Um, our success as a global company really relies on having a trained workforce, and, and we look at young people as our future. Um, and, and quite frankly, um, we've been focusing on young people for quite some time, and we really focus in three ways. Um, through partnerships like Urban Alliance, Year Up, and Mentor, just to name a few, where we rely on their expertise in helping train young people who can join the ranks of employment at the bank and address a real business need. So we rely on experts to help train and help us place young people in, in, in meaningful jobs. We also help young people get that first time work experience in the summer. So we're working with our own student leaders as well as um, summer youth employment programs across the country. And this year we're placing about 1,500 young people in jobs for that first time experience. And lastly, and probably most importantly, our, our own hiring practices. You know, we certainly hire quite a few young people, about 15,000 across the, the company, but, but we do a lot of hiring through traditional methods, but we're also looking at ways to connect young people who are emerging as leaders and, and want to have that first job experience. So, so you know, those are just three ways that we connect, but clearly our business leaders see it as, as an important step. Great. And my next question would be, how has your partnership with Urban Alliance and other partnerships benefit the youth and benefit Bank of America and the community? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of um, Bank of America benefits as well as, as, and hopefully, students who come in um, and work at the bank benefit from, from their experience as an intern. I would say a couple of things. Um, the insight a young person brings to a job is, is fabulous. And, I, and the example of, uh, of the convenience ambassador, young people have much more technology knowledge and, and have less fear about using technology. But they were able to come in and work with Urban Alliance to really create a program that addressed a critical need in our, in our banking centers. So I think the idea is that, that it, although it's benefiting the student, it's benefiting a staffing need we have. So everybody wins. And I would say our employees also love getting engaged with young people as mentors. We have um, a lot of employees who, who take a lot of pride in connecting to that young person and seeing themselves in them and helping them along the career ladder. And lastly, I think it's a, it brings a real source of pride to, to the group that, that a young person is working in. Our customers are really thrilled when they walk into a banking center and see a young person that lives in the community there really helping out. So I think it's a triple bottom line. The, the bank wins, the young person wins, and so does the community. 
now I think we want to turn some questions over to you. And I know you've learned a lot of skills at Learman Alliance. You had a good experience at the bank, and you've had role models and mentors along the way. But maybe you should explain a little bit about how you benefited from Urban Alliance. What was the one big takeaway? There was many takeaways from Urban Alliance. It's a great program. Um, I, if I can say the one thing that I've taken away from Urban Alliance is communication. Being, uh, I was a senior in high school, and I didn't know how to properly dress, how to properly speak at an interview, you know, a firm handshake, things like that. And they communicate that with you on Fridays, workshops. And I believe that was the main takeaway was communication because communication can take you very far. So if you know how to communicate, you can go anywhere. So I believe that was the main thing. And did they, <laughs> and did they teach you a lot of hard skills that you were able to deploy at the bank as a well? A lot of hard skills, uh, soft skills as well. And it was a lot of takeaways such as uh, my resume. My resume was, I had nothing on my resume. And learning how to do the, just set it up, the basic setup, that was difficult for me. But workshop again on Fridays, they taught me all of that. So leaving Urban Alliance and then going to, I went to Chihuahua University in North Carolina, uh, they looked at my resume, oh, you worked at the bank. I did. Um, it was a 10 month program through Urban Alliance and Bank of America. I was a convenience ambassador and things like that. They said, oh, how did you get that job? This program came about, you know, so it's a really good, really good program, and I really loved it, and I'm glad to be an alumni, and things like that. So when you were at the bank, did you have a lot of help with role models and mentoring? Did people take a personal interest in your welfare? They did. Um, my mentor was Alicia Taylor. She's at Charles Street um, in Baltimore, and Ms. Sharon Blakely, she was, a, um, at this time, she was the manager at South, uh, South Charles Street. And they both, you know, made a connection with me. Uh, she took me, Ms. Sharon Blakely took me to many events that Bank of America was hosting. And Ms. Alicia Taylor in the banking center, when I didn't understand something, I could always go to her and ask her questions. So they really helped me throughout so my experience. You don't have to answer this, but did your experience make you want to be a banker or just give you great work experience? It actually <laughs> did. I wanted to be a teller at one point. And then I see, you know, seeing what they do, I love interacting with people. And I'm like, you know, I could probably do this. The training, I, I felt like I, it was something I wanted to do. But then I seen the personal banking, I'm like, wait a minute, I think I want to do that. <laughs> so every experience is a stepping stone to the next. It was. It sounds wonderful. Um, well, any, anything else you want to add about your experiences at the bank or um, about what you've learned? Um, it's so much. I could go on forever. But the main thing is just they believe in you. So believe in yourself and anything you put your mind to, you can do it because you're here. When I first, when she offered me the position, you know, working at the bank, I'm like, bank, you know, not too good at that. She was like, don't worry, we'll train you. After that, it was on from there. Great, great. <laughs> yeah. Good. So do you have one last question? I think for I you? do have one more question for you. What do you want other companies to know about why they should invest in youth employment and mentoring programs? Well, I'm going to answer that briefly. I think first and foremost, it's good for business. It's good to it's enlighten self-interest to really work with young people and make sure they're ready to take on leadership roles in the country and, and at your company or in the community. Um, it builds a pipeline of talent for future employment. It builds a customer base and contributes to the success of the community. And quite frankly, and I think the thing for me personally is that it can help change a life and put someone on the right trajectory. So um, I know all of you are in the audience are engaged in, in, in ways of helping young people get that first job and, and following their careers. So keep up the great work. I know we need, all need to collaborate more, but I really want to thank a Anya for really sharing her experiences. And I think it was a positive one and we're thrilled Likewise. that she was there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>